What's going on dudes, boys and girls, friends and viewers, people who I do know and still do not. Today we will take another look at NAZI BO PRA PRA AI I hear the call Alright boys and girls, find yourselves on the Towers Doom map Um. This video we're gonna go for something different. Last video we did go for the uh, for the frogs build. Today we're gonna go for the for the spiders. You know, it's all about that zoo. You know, we got spiders, we got frogs, we got a big ass dude, a level ten. Anyway, um, the the spiders build turns out to be the 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 one that does the most damage, just because the the most single target damage, just because. It's just crazy. You guys will see as uh, as I explain the talents, like how well you can um, how well you can burst a, a target down. Uh, so again, our cure ability is Corpse Spiders. We throw it, and it, they will. We throw a jug, which will go and deal damage and explode only if it hits the enemy target. Like there, I missed, and nothing jumps out. Only only some stuff. I throw my uh, my toads. It looks like I'm gonna have two specialists. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So you can see now. Now they're dealing. They'll do, they're dealing damage to Asmodan. Of course, in the early game, it's not going to be as impactful. But I'm going to get shit ton of value out of this Asmodan. He's going to get burned by those spiders. Um, our availability is cold uh, zombie wall. Just basically what I used right there. Uh, what it does. Um, what it does. It kind of like closes. People in this on this wall right here, you see, it, it just closes whoever's in it, and, and they will just auto attack people to death if um, if they're in it, if they're in the actual zombie wall. I'm gonna try to hit Sasma down. There we go. He's a very big booty to hit, and we got you. And our E ability is called the uh, Plague of Toads. Plague of Toads will basically throw show this three three toads. You have two charges there. I like. Um, yeah, we have two charges of that, and basically what it does, it just these, it just applies some AOE kind of uh, DOT. You can see he's taking a lot of DOT damage. This minion right here. Let's shoot this Asmodan to get some more stacks of our level one talent, which I'll explain in a second. Just give me, give, just give me one second. Uh, our trace called Voodoo Ritual. I'm gonna close him in the wall. You can see we'll be able to do, I think, quite a lot of damage. I'm gonna come up, up right up to him, apply some DOT. You can see we can't burn him down yet, but that's going to change. That's all subject to, subject to change. You can see, he's still taking damage. He's still taking damage right now. He's very close to dying, but of course, we just don't have enough power right this moment. Uh, art is called Vujo Ritual. Basically what it does when I kill uh, a minion. Uh, that uh, when an, sorry when any minion dies that has my poison on it, basically all my abilities and my basic attacks apply poison to uh, minions. Right? And oh, you're in trouble. I'm in trouble too. No, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, the body blocks are real. Thank you so much, minions. They just body blocked the, the shit out of the guy. Um, hex crawlers. Yeah. So what it does again, if an enemy minion dies with my poison on it, basically again, all of my abilities and my um, and my auto attacks apply kind of a DOT poison to them. Uh, what it will do. It is going to give me additional health, just permanently, additional health and additional mana. This used to be a, a, a talent, but it was just always picked. That's why they kind of implemented it into um, into his basic kit. I'm going to try to hit the cigar. There we go. And it's a single hit. Look look, look how much damage she's taking. Oh my god, it's just great. We're going to actually suck our level level 1 talent soon. Um, our level 1 talent. Oh, hi. Baby, you made me miss. Slow him! W! Oh my god, you already used your W. That's fine. Let's go back, baby. It's fine. It's okay. Um, yes, yeah, so a level 1 talent uh, it allows us to... St so basically, every time uh, the the, spi the spooders... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. How did he see me? Oh god. Every time my spooters hit somebody, they'll be giving me a stack um, up to 100. 
and I have to get 100 attacks to get 30% additional damage on the spiders, which is which is which kind of gets kind of crazy. And we're gonna go a spirit arc at level seven. Uh, level four, we did go for hex crawlers, which basically when uh, core spiders will restore 0.75% uh, of my ma maximum ha mana and health when they attack an enemy hero, which obviously makes a, a very good sustain in a team fight scenario. Uh, I need to kind of counter push this a little bit, I think. How many stacks? I need seven more stacks. I think I should be able to get them here. Yes, hit that bitch. Yeah, we got we got the quest, which means that there will, there will like my next spiders will now be dealing more damage. I'm gonna try to come in here and hit her. There we go. All the spiders hit her, and that's gonna deal, of course, secure the kill, especially with the Li Ming dam damage coming on top of it. I'm gonna try to also stack my uh, my trade as as, as 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 much as possible, just because. Um, uh, there's a very very important talent later on, um, yeah. So basically, it will just give us sustain in the team fights. Whenever I deal, we, we deal damage to a hero with our spiders, um, we will be able to restore some of our um, some of our hard earned health and mana. Nice combo, bro. Nice combo, bro. Nice combo, bro. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Alright, I'm gonna get a tap. Actually, our, our sippy is dead here. Just exactly what they wanted. Fuck! Alright, this means that we're gonna have to get some hits. There we go, Zagara is here to help us with that. <laughs> um, yeah, level 7 we picked up a talent which is called, uh, which is called Spirit of Arakir. When, um, when Spooters hit just a single target, um, they will basically be spawning additional two Spooters. So, um, oh god. So, we spawn three spiders right now, um, and we will be able to spawn five if we just hit a single target. Of course, it has to be, you know, one single target singled out. It's really good for the for the immortal on, on the um, battlefield of eternity, um, but it's also very good for bursting just a, sing a singled out target down. Um, I should be spreading my uh, my poison to as many minions as I possibly can here to get as many stacks as I possibly can. Again, trying to stack up 100%. Oh, 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 he actually knocked him back from the from the charge. I think they got it. I think they got it. Yeah, Alex got it. We were too late. That was my fault. That was my fault. The spooters weren't even needed. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to zone them here with my gargantuan. It's my level two, level 10 talent. And what it does, it kind of just stuns there in the, in the area. Oh, watch out! Go spooters! Go spooters! I'm gonna, I'll be able to clean it up, I think. There we go. Nice. They got no value out of that camp, and I'm gonna get some more stack Reno's dog. Oh my middle! Looks like our middle will be taken by the enemy Asmadan, who was there the entire time. I mean, we can't really blame him, you know. He went, he went for the, for the, for the, but yeah, he went for the fucking spaghetti build, boys. Spaghetti Bill's real, dog. Okay, looks like they're gonna probably set up for the bottom now, so I'm gonna just rotate back there. And yeah. I don't have to use my um, my spiders on uh, strictly on heroes now anymore, just because you know I already stacked it, stuck my my, uh, my my level one talent. There we go. 81 stacks. I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. We are actually more than halfway through. We need 150 by by the level 20, basically. That's, that's what I'm going for. Should be able to kill him. I think so. Oh, the spooters just put in enough right there. But again, almost. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, on the sub range, uh, what do we go for? Do we go for ice block or do we go for the garden toads? Let's just go for a garden toads. I feel, I feel like it's just better. Okay, Zagara is out of position here. She's gonna be actually taken out by my spooters. You can see the body blocks from the enemy Abathur's copy. Uh, will be able to body block her uh, because if she would, she would go behind the wall, uh, the spooters would not be able to uh, follow her. I'm just gonna rotate to a lane. We got this easy, and I'm gonna rotate to a lane and keep keep stacking, keep um, keep my stacks coming. That's pretty much the name of the game for Nazibo if he wants to just become super OP in um, in the late game. Yeah. So our gargantuan, what it's gonna do for us? I'm gonna need some help up here. 
Uh, what it's going to do for us, it is going to basically spawn this big ass dude. It's just, just, it's just there, and it does a little bit of damage. I'll be able to kind of uh, apply a lot of damage. I'm, I'm gonna actually follow him uh, because I do have the Abathur hat on me. Maybe I can hit him with the um, with the spooters one once more. I'm probably dead. Yep. Yeah, I got it with the, with the gargantuan. Yeah, so what it does, it just stands there, and I gain the ability to make him stomp. He just stands in this area, kind of patrols it. He no longer follows Nazebo, and that's I I feel like that's what number one mistake people make when picking this this heroic, is he no longer makes he no longer follows Nazebo, which means that he just he's he's gonna be there for zoning. He's gonna be there for team fight control. Because he deals shit ton of damage, like with his basic attacks, when they stomp, his AoE does shit ton of damage, plus I think it also slows people, which is crazy. It's crazy. crazy. I, I, I feel like it slows because I always, whenever I uh, I hit somebody with it, I'm gonna go top because I want to counter push the push from As Asmodan. I know he's hungry. I know he's hungry for that fort. On this arrangement, you're gonna go for Spider Colony. Here's another, uh, another Spooters. Um, uh, I'll just be able to counter push him here. I will be able to counter push him. Um, right, so level 13 we picked up um, basically toads. What are they called? Garden toads. Um, they allow me to take 25% less damage whenever I hit somebody with my uh, with my toads. He actually might be dead here. Dude, he's taking so much damage. I just I, I just need 150 stacks. Dude, I'm actually very close. I'm actually super close. I'm all the way bottom. I'm all the way bottom to you guys. Uh, yeah, so so basically, whenever I hit somebody with my with my frogs, I'm gonna gain resistance for I think two seconds or something, and then there we go. Very nice kill here. I try to come in here, zone them with a zombie wall. We're gonna hit the zombie wall and secure a double kill. Which is gonna actually we, we we did lose top, but what we can do is just go back and take it. That's why Asma is so bad in this map, because I can just go back and take it. Hi, Asma. Hi, Zagara. Oh! She just went into the zombie wall. I'm gonna hit her with the spooters. Alright, my baby's already taken top, which is good. Very good, babe. And I'll be able to get some more stacks. How good is that, dog? How good is that? Just we have to care to apply the poison to everybody. And level 16, we took um, the spider colony. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, spider colony. Whenever we are above 75% of health or 80, is it 80 or is it 70? Well, above certain threshold, of, which is pretty much about uh, probably about 50% of, of the health. Come in, come in. Come in. She's dead. Look at the spooters go! Look at the spooters go! So fun! Oh god, that was good. Okay, we are sitting at 133 stacks. We do need uh, about 12 more, which is that's what I'm gonna do here. Our butcher does fall, but I'm gonna try to push this lane a little bit. Now let's let's, let's counter push. Let's counter push against this Asmodan. Let's not let him feel feel safe. Let, let, let's uh, let's make him work for um for his uh, for his ability damage here. We are 144 stacks. We do only need six more and our level 20 and we're going to get huge spike in damage. We'll be dealing 200. Basically, now our our DOT, our trait is going also going to apply to heroes and we're going to be dealing 200% damage with it. Um which is crazy. Crazy. We're going to we're going to take middle. We're going to go for vile infection here, which again allow us to just say what I Wow! The burst is crazy! We just blow up the enemy Alarak with uh, the power of the Spooters and, of course, um, enemy Li uh, sorry, friendly Li Ming. Uh, I do need one more stack. I basically do need one more stack and that'll be it. I really do want to showcase to you guys how powerful the, the Violent Faction really is when you actually do stack it. On my way to the middle lane to try to not counter push, but kind of uh, maybe make this a little bit harder for the enemy team. Uh, enemy Zagara is a little bit of a position. I'm going to try to force her in the wall. She does get caught in it. I did do... Oh, actually, I, did, I, miss, I'm, I didn't throw out my spiders, so I think she's going to be fine. Yes, she is going to be fine. Just, just, just. If I had my talent right there... Dude, we do have, my, we do have our talent right now. 
Oh, baby. Look, look at him melt. Look at him melt. Look at him melt. We, uh, I think it actually also registers some hits on the minions. That's why he's not melting as quickly. But Okay, so now we do have our Vile Infection going. Uh, and I'm going bottom. I'm going bottom. Because we'll be able to melt this guy right down. Oh, babe, look at the just DOT plus the damage from Lee Meng is just adding the insult to the injury. And we are able to pick up a kill on the enemy Zagara, enemy Asmodan, and um, Alarak. Actually, Alarak was before. Look at the damage. Like, basically, all my damage now is pretty much like the DOT just takes the entire health bar of, um, of a minion now. I'm going to put up Gargant Gargantua and I'm going to try to push this in a little bit. I think we should be able to do a lot. Look how he's taking so little damage from the towers. It's crazy right now. He's such a good. He's such a good uh, sieging tool, and people don't use him for that. It's, he's so good for that. I'm just gonna go in here. Let's, let's stamp. Let's just kill everything. And honestly, level twenty is. I think is the, definitely the, the best for. Um, uh, that's GG. The best for um, Nazibo. Like he is the. He's the like number one hero that just gets such a spike at level 20, even bigger than um, than other heroes in the game. And I'm gonna do. I'm gonna explain the. Um, I'm. I will explain the, the build again. Kind of uh, maybe maybe that was a little bit too chaotic for you guys while I was also playing. Um, but again, if you're missing a little bit, a, a little bit of the info. Um, on the on on his abilities, you can go to my previous Nazibo video. It will have a much more um, details in it. I do really want to get that gingerbread skin. Though. I really want it. I really really want it. Anyway, um, so we did we didn't end up at the top of the at the top of the damage just because the 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 game turned out to be very quick. If the game out uh, turned out to be much much longer. Um, I mean, I I thought that we're gonna lo lose and we're gonna actually it's gonna be longer because of Ragnaros. Ragnaros can just turn games, but he didn't do that this time around. Um, uh, we would have been definitely able to top the hero damage here, um, but again, as soon as we f we just get the violent infection, we just deal so much damage to the enemy. Okay, let's go over the build very very quickly here. Um, level one, we do go for the Widowmakers to increase the damage of the spiders after we hit 100 heroes with them. As in, you know, it's not 100 heroes with the jug; it's just the basic attacks of the actual uh, spiders. They have to jump out on the hero to actually to start attacking it. I don't know what what was that, but <laughs> um, hex crawlers will return some mana and health when uh, when the spooders hit heroes. Uh, seven more spooders will spawn. If they hit a single target, so very good on single target maps like the like the Battlefield of Eternity, maybe Garden of Terror, uh, but just very good for nuking down people. Maybe you close them down in a very good wall, and uh, you can you can then proceed to get a lot of spooters out. Um, on level ten, we do we did go for Gargantuan. I just felt like with the silence, um, it's gonna it's gonna basically the Ravenous Spirit, which makes me the channel like the big ass spirit that just goes and just chases people. It would make me very vulnerable to the silence and the pull, like the combo from the Alarak, but also some 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 damage from the enemy um, Ragnaros. So I just I just decided to go for the Gargantuan, which allows me to get so much sieging done, but also so much zoning, and it allows so much control of the of the team fight, but also maybe some objectives. It's just crazy, and people do not do not go for Gargantuan often enough. And he also allows you to just slam down, which deals a lot of damage in the area, and I think it deals a little bit of damage for um, when it's summoned, attacks for a little bit, and can be ordered to stomp nearby enemies. And I think the stomp does damage at slows, because uh, whenever I stomp stomp people, they they just seem to be slowed. So. Um, yeah, on level 13, I did go for Garden Toads. Ice Block is also a very good choice, I believe. And Garden Toads will allow me to gain resistance for two seconds after I hit somebody with my Toads, which is obviously very good in a team fight. And Ice Block is just, of course, you know, maybe good against channeling abilities, maybe waiting for your team until they get there to save you. Um, maybe there's a lot of burst coming your way and you know it, you just press your stasis and you, you, you may be able to dodge it. Um, yeah, it just allows you to do a lot of things. On level 16, I did go for the spider colony. Um, at, when you're above 50, uh, around 50% of health, you will be regenerating um, the cooldown 100% for the 
faster, which just makes you just spam spiders like it's crazy. But of course, you have to stay above above a certain threshold of health. Health. They didn't want to make it. A, um, they made they made it. A, what's the name? Uh, a static number because they didn't want to, they would they didn't want it to ramp ramp up with you stacking. They didn't want you punish. They didn't want to punish you for stacking too much health. So they just they just put it as a um, as a stack. What's the name? Static. There we go. Static number that um, that doesn't scale up with the percentage of your health, which then of course makes it easier for you to. Um, of course, you just get just get more spooders out. Especially, it just and it also rewards you if you have m much more health than the fifty percent of this. Then, goddamn, you're welcome. You can you can actually get a lot of spiders out uh, while also staying about half health and or even more. And level twenty, we did go for the vile infection. So if you did stack like I did, if you did stack the vile infection um, to hundred fifty stacks, so you basically have to get hundred fifty stacks of your trait in order to uh, in order to it to the trait also be applied to heroes and its damage increased by 200 percent so it's overall 300 percent that it does because it has the original of course 100 and then 200 you, you apply 200 to it you basically multiply the damage by two um and then you add it to the overall number and you just go ahead like and also like the dot will be now applied and 200 percent stronger on even on heroes which is crazy Crazy, crazy, crazy. But you do have to remember to stack. If you didn't stack enough and you're just there sitting with like 80 or 100 stacks, I mean, that's possible. That's very possible. Like if you do not stay in lane, if you do not commit yourself to stacking, you will fall short. And then you can go for Fury of the Swarm. Humanagoid is not bad, but I feel like it. you'll be able to spam him like a lot because his cooldown is like, what, 70 seconds? So you'll be able to get him every 15 seconds. Uh, no, every 25 seconds, sorry. So, yeah. Not that good. Mana cost, not even that that big of a deal, especially we, when you're increasing it in, in, uh, every single time. And also, your spiders will be returning some mana to you as well. So, again, Fear of the Swarm or the Violent Faction, of course. If you're stacked, Violent Faction is the way to go, which is the best. I would, I would be daring to say that is one of the best, if not the best, level 20 talent there is in the game. Uh, probably up there with the epic mount and um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I can think of. The only one I can think of that's very, very, very strong like that. And Furious One will be there if you did not commit to to, to stacking. So that was the Zebo. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button. We have, we have one more build in the Zebo, which I guess we're gonna do at some point, at some later point today. I'm gonna start probably a stream very, very soon. But without further ado. I'll see you guys in the next one.